That's awesome. Colonial High School principal Doug Loftus takes great pride in his school. I love this school. This school is an outstanding school. It has so many great things to offer for the kids. He also takes great pride in his students. What's up, guys? How are you? Especially when they get on the big red bus and donate blood. The one thing that I that I always make sure is that you know when the students are are going you know onto the bus to donate blood, I always you know give them a a big attaboy because they don't they may not understand or may not realize what they're doing or what kind of an impact that they're going to have um, but knowing the fact that they are at least giving it the the college effort of donating blood tells me that they do care about the community blood donation is personal for principal loftus in 2008 doctors found a tumor the size of a golf ball in his brain fortunately it was benign but he still needed surgery to remove it, and blood from donors helped him survive the operation. My neurosurgeon said that, um, you know, he had the easy part. And I thought, how could he have the easy part? He's the one who's going into my brain and digging out the tumor. And I finally realized that he was correct. The hard part was on my end, and the recovery was uh, very, very um, time-consuming. Uh, I was always fatigued, always tired, always... Uh, uh, sleeping because of the uh, the trauma uh, in my brain. It's been four years since then. Today, Principal Loftus is back at school and an advocate for blood donation. All I thought was this: it was going into a pint, into a bag, and then it was going to be shipped off somewhere. Never thought about it going to another human, another human being. And now that I've been on the receiving end, I know how important it is to donate blood and to give back to the community. Though he's still on medication, Principal Loftus says he feels a lot better and credits blood donors for playing a role in his recovery. I'm Nancy Gay for Florida's Blood Centers, where local heroes are saving lives.